The year was 2004. You were 12 and waiting with bated breath to turn 13 and be a real teenager. When you weren't writing sad poetry about your crushes and the life you wish you were living, you were listening to Avril Lavigne and watching TV shows, admiring the teens you saw going through adult things. When you weren't doing that, you were sneaking downstairs late nights to watch adult television. You loved those small moments alone in what was otherwise a hectic house. One day as you were flipping through the channels, um, you stopped at something that you'd never seen before and that caught your breath in your throat. Two women were on TV, sitting on a love seat, kissing. Not only kissing, they were having sex. You had seen sex scenes before in movies and on television, but never anything like that before. You felt scandalized and intrigued all at once. This show, you would later come to find out, was called The L Word. And The L Word stood for lesbian. A word you thought stood for a radical woman that hated men and dared to love women instead. Your picture of what a lesbian was had been incredibly biased by media that showed lesbians as pining and predatory. You didn't want to be one of those women, but you feared you were and had for many years. Seeing this particular scene on this particular show was just a sign that everything you feared was true. Your best friend, Kate, had already come out to you as bisexual at the time. You were still in middle school and struggling to find a community that you felt you fit into. And you had been struggling for years to not appear gay to your friends and family. Back in 2004, people were still saying that's so gay as an insult and using homophobic slurs in casual conversation. To be out and gay then was a scary thing, but something told you to come out anyway. Despite your own internal bias and fears, you knew something about you was different and needed to be addressed. You were brave and decided it was time to tell someone to tell someone the truth, namely your mom. She, unfortunately, did not react very well. She told you not to tell your dad, that was the first thing she said, and that you were just following a trend, that it wasn't real and that your feelings were just a part of something that teenage girls go through. Every year after that, she would check in with you to see if you were still having feelings for girls, and the answer was always a resounding yes. When you got to high school, things changed. You even went on your first date with a girl. Her name was Ashton, and you met her through your friend, Caviera. It was a horrible date, and she spent the entire time on her phone texting someone else. But at least you had the freedom to date a girl because you had taken a risk and come out. Your family at the time was not accepting, so it felt good to have friends around you who knew who you were and loved you despite. In college and beyond, you began to understand the importance of what we call chosen family. The people in your life, friends and partners, and even some family members who have become your center and safe haven. They are the people you come to when you are troubled, scared, and confused, when you need life advice or just a shoulder to cry on. Now your life is filled with the sense of security you were searching for. You still talk to some of your brothers in Hat and our godmom now. You are living your dream as a writer for a cool gay media outlet. You even have fallen in love once in your life. And though it ended badly, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't taken the risk in telling your mom those fateful words that day. This life is your reward, and I owe you so much of my happiness today, and your bravery is part of why I am where I am today. And I want to thank you for being true to yourself and living for me.